Junior quarterback Chance Mock was finally getting his chance to start. Unfortunately for him, there was a young gun waiting in the wings. Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in Texas Longhorns football presented by Direct Energy, September 23rd, 2003, the Houston Chronicle's Jerome Solomon described redshirt freshman quarterback Vince Young's performance through three games as nothing short of spectacular. But the truth is, Young's instant impact surprised nobody. In the summer of 2000, the Chronicle and college scouts were already enthralled with the soon-to-be junior quarterback for Houston's Madison High School. And fans were in an Odell James-like frenzy over where he'd go to college before he'd even taken his first official college visit. His senior year, he was named Parade's High School National Player of the Year and the Sporting News' top high school prospect after racking up over 3,800 yards and 59 touchdowns. He led the Madison High Marlins to the state semifinals, notching nearly 500 yards of total offense and six touchdowns in defeat. Obviously, Young later chose to be a Longhorn, and in 2003, after a heartbreaking loss to Arkansas, which dropped Texas from 6th to 13th in the AP poll, head coach Mack Brown decided to give the redshirt freshman Young a little more playing time. When the future Longhorns legend stepped in against Rice, he led Texas to touchdowns on five consecutive drives en route to a 48-7 thrashing of the Owls. Now, three weeks later, after a somber loss to the number one Sooners, Texas dropped to number 20 in the AP poll, and Coach Brown felt it was time for a permanent change. So on October 18th, Vince Young made his first career start in a 40-19 stomping of Iowa State. By the end of the regular season, Young had led the Longhorns all the way back to number five in the AP poll. Now, let's bump ahead to 2005. Young became the first quarterback in 1A history to pass for 3,000 yards and rush for 1,000 yards in the same season. He would finish second in the Heisman voting to USC's Reggie Bush, but finished ahead of him in what mattered most. No Longhorn fan will ever forget the 2006 Rose Bowl, where he threw for 267 yards, rushed for another 200, and on fourth and five with 26 seconds left in the fourth, down 38-33, rolled right into the history books for a touchdown that capped off a perfect season and a national championship. All right, who are your top five Texas Longhorn quarterbacks of all time? Give us your list in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV using hashtag ForgottenDayUT.